How's it going everybody? So today I'm here and I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with the Guild 2 Renaissance. Now the Guild 2 is a great game, but I encountered this problem with both the Guild 2 Renaissance and the original version of the game, and that is when you launch the game it doesn't play on some computers and some operating systems, it doesn't play the cutscene that you're used to in the beginning of video games. And instead it shows a black screen, you might hear some sound behind it, and then it will usually crash your computer. Which means, or it doesn't crash the computer per se, but it locks it up and you can't press uh, Control alt delete and uh, you can't really do anything. So you have to restart your computer. You have to do a hard reset. And it's never desirable and it actually annoyed me the first couple of times I tried playing the game. However, there are a couple of workarounds for this. One is to press AL Control alt delete as soon as you see that black screen come up. It should then skip it and you'll be able to progress with the game. But a better way is to go ahead and look in the, well, what we're going to do here is we're going to disable the splash screen at the start. So go to your Steam apps folder. You should be able to find it it's wherever your games are, uh, your games bought through Steam are downloaded and stored. Uh, find the Guild to Renaissance folder and look for a file called config.ini. Open this file up, right here it is in my notepad. Just by double clicking on it, you should immediately launch the notepad with it open and then find the entry here for show the splash screen at program startup. Now it says as part of the arguments for it, zero equals no and one equals on, and one is the default. Now I have switched mine to zero right here. Uh, it was originally one. So what you need to do here is change this variable. It should have been a one. It will be a one if you open it up because it's the default. Change that to a zero and then click save, save the file and you should be done. When launching the Guild 2 now, it will immediately jump or load the main menu instead of trying to do any cutscenes, and therefore your computer will no longer lock up and crash. So, hope that worked. Let me know if it works. Uh, let me know in the comments below if it worked or not. Thank you as always for watching, and I hope to see you next time.